Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. WebP is an image format created to replace GIF, JPEG, and PNG. It is a modern web image format supporting both lossless and lossy compression. WebP supports transparency and animated images. All major web browsers support WebP. Rough images were made in WebP image format for the online version of the learning PHP ebook. In this tutorial, we will create WebP images and compare their file size and quality. To follow along, you just need a raster image and a an raster image converter. If you need help converting bulk images to WebP format using uh, whatever CMS you have, you can contact ojamboservices.com in the contact page, just look at your information here and you get a free no obligation quote. Let's begin. I'm going to use GIMP to open this image. It's a JPEG image and I'm going to convert it into WebP. So in GIMP, this is not a tutorial in GIMP, but in GIMP, all, once the image is, uh, you can drag and drop it here, or just go to File, Open. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to export, go to Export As, and here in the Export, say select file by extension. I can simply just change the extension here, but I'll do it with a mouse. So we're going to go and find WebP. It's right here. So it automatically changes it to WebP. Then all I need to do is click Export. Where did I export? Yeah, so then it, tell, it tell, lets me know if I want to do lossless. So lossless means that it will keep as much of the information as possible, but the compression won't be as much. So usually you want lossless if you maybe have transparency. This particular image doesn't have any transparency, so I do lossy is fine. Image quality is set to 90. Alpha quality is 100% because there's no alpha transparency on this one. So I'll leave everything as is, and I mean the default settings. I can obviously remove this, uh, the exit data to make it even smaller. So I'll just leave the default settings and I just click on export. So this is now, we're finished with game. So now we can go and compare the image sizes. So as you can see, here's our JPEG file, and it's 64 kilobytes, 64.7 uh, kilobytes. And if we go to our WebP version, you see it's 56.3 kilobytes, a significant uh, savings. So what I'm going to do here, I'm using GNOME text editor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the HTML version of that image.
So I will use the picture tag. In a future tutorial, I'll be more elaborate about the picture element. I'll explain it in further details. So the source, we want to set it to And then we'll use an image tag. This will be the fallback. here in the source and this one will be the JPEG version so what will happen is if if the web browser is not able to or this image is missing it will use this one uh, the fallback on JPEG it will automatically put it into the image source and as you can see this is the banner that we open up on our index.html file. Find the full article including code snippets and commands at ojumbo.com slash web p hyphen image hyphen format. If you want to learn PHP online and web browser then visit ojumboshop.com slash learning hyphen php. If you need help maintaining or building websites and batch converting to WebP, then visit ojumboservices.com and you can fill out the, your uh, contact details here and you get a free no obligation code. It's also for app development or programming tutorials. Thank you.